right here next to me, you're looking at another first responder. The Lucas 3 device delivers high quality chest compressions for as long as the patient needs while freeing up the other hands of first responders. Emergency crews are calling it a lifesaver. We have these on the uh, all the frontline uh, emergency response vehicles that would answer emergency medical calls in the city. Uh, so there's about 20 of them out in the field right now. A machine that essentially performs hands only CPR when someone's not breathing or their heart stops beating. Knoxville Fire Department Health and Safety Officer Tim Woods says this device can continue compressions when first responders have to move a patient up or down the stairs or to an ambulance. Compressions never stop, so that's allowed the survival rate to go up considerably having this device. KFD Chief Mark Wilbanks says this lets them get the most work done in the least time when seconds matter most. So a highly trained person typically can do about two minutes of effective CPR and then they begin to fatigue and we need to switch roles out. So what this really does is it takes that out of the process. Chief Wilbanks says nearly everyone in the department is trained to use this device. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to give it its ratio that I want it to work at. And now it's doing the chest compressions. The device claims to increase blood flow to the brain 60% more than manual CPR. In Knoxville, Ellie Bird, WVLT News.